Welcome to Washington Unplugged. I'm Kaylee Hartung. I'm joined by my CBS colleague, Kenya Downs, and none other than the NBA's all-time leading scorer, Mr. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Thank you so much for coming by CBS today. No problem. Nice to be here. Now, you've said that if you wouldn't have been a professional athlete, you would have wanted to be a history teacher. And it seems like you're doing both with your new documentary, On the Shoulders of Giants, the story of the greatest basketball team you've never heard of. Why did you feel like this was an important story to tell? Well, I, I thought it was important because uh, the Harlem Renaissance is a very important time in American history, and uh, people kind of neglect certain areas of it. And one of the most important aspects of it had to do with sports. Sports is a common language, uh, one that a lot of people understand. And uh, when you can get people together in sports, uh, it, it breaks down walls and barriers. And uh, the Harlem Rens certainly epitomized that. They were the best basketball team in the country in the, in the 1930s. And it made it possible for uh, Americans to view black Americans in a, in a new light, which was very important. You've got great music in this film. You have an all-star cast from Carmelo Anthony to Bill Russell, Maya Angelou, Spike Lee. How are you getting young students to watch this film, and what do you hope they get out of it? I think young students are they're interested in in the game, in the game of basketball. So when they see people that they know can, can hoop and uh, they might own their jersey or something like that or argue about them when, when they talk about who the best basketball player is uh, and you see them involved in something like this, it, it is, is a natural entree for them. They, they'll watch it just to see what it's about and hopefully that, that's how you hook them and get them uh, interested in uh, expanding what they know about uh, what, what has happened, what has happened before uh, this this present time. Mm -hmm. And can you touch on keeping stories like this with the Harlem Wrens alive for generations to come and being an athlete and a prominent figure in the community, how is, important is that to use your celebrity to keep stories like this alive for especially African American communities and poor communities where sports are a big part of everyday life? Well, you know, I, I think uh, too many people have a limited understanding of, of, of the possibilities. Uh, so many young people can go out and pursue their higher education just because they're, they're pretty good at, at one sport or another. You can go to college, uh, you can get your degree. That, that, that college degree means a lot. And uh, too many people don't value education in, in the same light that they used to. That, that's, uh, that's something that we have to deal with and uh, affect because uh, people not educating themselves, it, it, it makes, them, makes it impossible for them to build on, on their success. Let's say you go into the pros and you make $20 million. What are you going to do with it? If you don't have an education, um, you're going to spend it unwisely. It's going to be gone in, in a very short amount of time, and uh, you, you will have missed a great opportunity. Now, you're here in Washington to screen the film tonight. You know, what's the significance for you of being in Washington you know, with an audience of policymakers and, and whatnot tonight? Well, I think you know we, we have the President of the United States. He enjoys hoops. and um, he has a lot of influence, so you know the people around him that uh, can get things done. If, if they see my film, they'll, they'll understand uh, what I'm trying to do, and uh, I, I think that that is one way to generate support. Mm -hmm. And can you talk about uh, the celebrities and athletes that you see today? What is your opinion of the athletes that we see now and their use of their celebrity to continue social and political change throughout the communities, like the Harlem Rens? I think it's a mixed bag. You know, some, some people have a really keen awareness of the opportunity that they have to, to make a, a, have a positive influence. And other people are just in it, you know, for, for a buck and to, you know, be able to buy themselves some bling, you know. So it's, it goes both ways. Now I've got to ask, we're in the middle of the NBA Finals. How do you see this series playing out? Jeez, I think it's a horse race. Uh, you watched the game last night. Uh, Either team could have won it, mm -hmm. and uh, the game before last night, either team could have won it. I think it's going to go on like that. So, fortunately, I don't bet. So, <laughs> anybody that that bets, please don't listen to me because I, I don't have anything at stake. But I, I think it's going to be a real horse race. It should be interesting. Mm -hmm. I think the fans will enjoy it, though. You know, uh, anytime it's closely contested, uh, people get really emotional and um, you know end up calling their friends at two in the morning to tell them. What did I tell you about that? You know, so 
I, I hope everybody has a good time with it. Mm. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This is a really important film, and uh, look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Anybody who so wants to see it, they can see it this month on Netflix. Mm -hmm. It's available uh, to be viewed instantly on Netflix, and uh, at the end of this month, uh, on uh, July 1st, you can get it. You can go to my website and, and order it, uh, KareemAbdulJabbar.com. Great. Thank you Great. so much. Thank, thank you. you.